The first item of business today is a motion to establish an ad hoc committee to consider the creation of a Bill of Rights. Now, if I understand things correctly, the House is not going to be permitted to debate that motion, to amend that motion. All the House is permitted to do is to vote on that motion. Now, I do question why, since Order 50, Standing Order 53 faces no prohibition on debate when the establishment of an ad hoc committee is the subject matter, why is it that we are to be denied the right to debate a motion such as this? And more than that, my understanding is that if this motion is passed, then the names of those who will serve on this ad hoc committee are never to be put to this House. Normally, when they establish other committees, we name them in a subsequent motion and approve the individuals. But in this case, I am informed by the business office, there will be no follow-up motion. All we have is the carve-up between the parties, and they then choose the individuals. But this House, which is on whose name this committee is being established, can neither debate the establishment of this committee nor the names of those appointed to it. We could well arrive at the farcical situation where an ad hoc committee to deal with human rights issues could be peopled in part by human rights abusers. There may be put on this committee, unknown to this House, those who are human rights abusers by virtue of the fact that they are convicted terrorists who have abused in that role the human rights of others. So the farce could even get more extreme than it already is. So I do implore you, sir, to refer this back to the Business Committee and let the Business Committee draft a motion which can be debated in this House.